We're going to go through the Clore Test Kit with the steps and procedures on how to perform testing. The Clore Test Kit contains everything needed to perform the test. Each kit contains five individual tests. There's five little bubble bag bags in there that contain everything needed for an individual test. Five of those bubble bags and then there's the directions. The directions do cover each step of the procedure precisely. It is important to read those directions, so please do. To perform the individual test requires an adhesive sleeve and an ampule of pre-measured extract and the glass titrator tube, which actually measures the chlorides in parts per million. So to perform the the test, you take the ampule and break off the top, just twist it around a turn or two till the top breaks off. Hold the sleeve and empty the contents of the ampule down in the sleeve. Now the surface you're going to test on, make sure that it's clean and dry, that it doesn't have dust in it, on it or particulate matter from abrasive blasting. We've got to have that adhesive seal form a liquid tight seal on there so it can't be dusty or it won't stick. Hold the sleeve between your thumb and two fingers. Peel the, the backing off of the adhesive. It's in two parts so it peels off of there pretty easily. Hold that between your thumb and fingers. Start at the bottom and just kind of roll it up onto the surface. Press it on there good and tight. Make sure that adhesive is sealed well. We've got to form a liquid tight seal all the way around. So make sure it's pressed on real well. If you've got some pitted areas, take care to press it all the way down into the pits. That foam seal is an eighth of an inch thick, so it will provide for fluctuations in the surface height like, like pitted areas. Lift the sleeve from the bottom so the extract runs against the steel surface. And you massage that with your fingertip and you massage it for two minutes. We suggest you use a watch with a second hand. Two minutes is actually longer than you think it is. <clears throat> you can actually get pretty rough with massaging it. That latex is pretty thick. It's very tough. You're not going to poke a hole through it or tear it. After two minutes, work the extract down into the sleeve so it's away from the steel. In the lid of the kit is a snapper. It's provided to be used to snap the ends off of the glass tube, but it makes a great little device to help peel that sleeve off of there. Use it kind of like a scraper. The adhesive does stick very, very well. Uh, oftentimes people are on older, rusted, pitted surfaces that require a real high quality adhesive. So we provide adhesive good enough to seal to even the worst type of surfaces. After you've peeled that sleeve off of there, if you notice the kit box has a perforation, push that perforation out so you can use the lid of that container like a test tube holder. And that'll hold the sleeve with the extract in it. Now take that glass tube and you see the yellow end is the bottom is yellow, got yellow stain in it. That's the end that goes down. Snap off both ends of the tube with the snapper. Uh, you are breaking glass, so be careful of your eyes and your fingers. Push the tube all the way down into that hole and then just snap it off. Now just drop that down into the extract. Now it takes a minute and a half or two minutes for that to wick up. At the very top of that tube you see it's got a white cotton. As that wicks up, when it wicks all the way to the top, it'll make that tube turn, or excuse me, the cotton turn amber color indicating the test is done. 
just so we don't have to wait two minutes, there's a tube right there that you can see the amber color at the bottom. And the chloride makes the pink in the tube turn white. So what you're looking for is the top of the white to pink transition. At the highest level of white is what the reading is for chlorides. The tube measures in parts per million, and we have engineered the test kit so the parts per million is a one-to-one -one ratio to micrograms per square centimeter. So if you've got five parts per million, you've got five micrograms per square centimeter. We've pre-done all the math. There's no calculation to do. And folks, that's how simple it is. It's extremely accurate. Uh, again, we do recommend you read the directions, follow the procedures that in there are in there. If you do have any questions, please give us a call. There's a phone number in the directions there, the number to our office, or there's a contact us location on our website on the homepage. Uh, thank you much.